Hey there, what's up you guys? It's your boy JD and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Before we all begin the, with the whole with this whole content, um, just a fair warning, my cat is now here in our living room because of uh, the heat because uh, it's very hot in my room. So if you guys hear meowing, scratching, or just in general noise, well you already saw just a while ago um, what where, where it comes from. So yeah. So anyways guys got good um, good news um, very very exciting news um our channel finally hit 100 subscribers a few days ago and as of as you can see here but as of today I think we have 104 subscribers according to um, the channel dashboard we have 104 and we would like to thank all of you guys for subscribing and staying tuned to our channel and we hope for more subscribers soon so with, because of that, our giveaway will finally begin, so stay tuned until the end of the video so that we can actually announce the mechanics for our World Balance Slide Foam Giveaways. So anyways guys, uh, like what I mentioned in the previous video that we did make a poll and it was about what shoe tech are you guys more curious about and we put up Nike or Adidas but I also asked here in the previous video if there's another brand you guys were interested and with all that um, with all that Adidas actually won the poll which was actually very surprising because um, living here in the Philippines there are only two big brands which is Nike and Adidas and Nike is actually a bigger brand here and um, uh, for some reason it actually makes me very excited that Adidas won for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm just more excited about that. So now we are going to be talking about the shoe tech of Adidas. But before we begin talking about shoe tech, um, let's begin talking about the importance of wearing proper shoes for the proper sport. So if you guys noticed, if you guys go inside a sports store or any athletic store, you'd notice that there's a variety of shoes from running, uh, training shoes, um, uh, football shoes, tennis shoes, and walking shoes, actually even lifestyle walking shoes, and of course basketball shoes. So what are the differences between those varieties of shoes? So let's just be quick about this so that we can actually start on about uh, the shoe tech. So the difference between those is how it's engineered specifically for that sport. Throughout all the years of having athletes and sports becoming a professional, um, being a basically becoming a, a part of the professional world, wherein you end up being a pro athlete, you get paid to play a certain sport, right? When it started evolving, of course, people moved different kinds of movements from people were seen. So basically, you got tennis, uh, who has very different set of movements from volleyball and volleyball is different sets of movement from basketball and basketball has different sets of movement from both football and American football. So, any uh, mga differences nila? So, what are, so, sorry, differences and similarities. So, let's start with the similarities first. So, for the similarities, obviously, all of these shoes have a traction. So, what, so they all have traction specifically made for the kinds of movement that you do while playing that sport. So whether it be a lateral movement, whether it's forward movement, backward movement, or going to going here, paganon, paganyan, wherever your movement is, um, the shoe is specifically engineered and designed to protect you from that movement. Now all these shoes also vary. You have your cushioning setup, and it depends. So it depends on the person itself as well, on preference nila. But all of these shoes are cushioned differently for the type of the movement that you create while playing your sport. So it's very important for you, for everyone actually, for everyone and anyone to actually use the shoe specifically for the sport that you want to play it. 
So honestly, you can you you can play volleyball shoes. You can play in volleyball shoes while playing basketball, but your risk of injury is just really high. And at the same time, you can also play basketball wearing your Ultra Boost 20 and actually play basketball, but your risk of injury is very, very high because the shoe is not specifically engineered for the type of, of movement that you're gonna create while playing basketball. So that's the important thing about uh, knowing knowing shoes. So, so shoes have evolved from time and today, tonight, this evening, it's 4 in the evening, 4 in the morning, sorry, not the evening, 4 in the evening, what the hell? 4, four, four in the morning. And now we are going to be talking about um, two cushion setups from Adidas and then another set of two cushion setups in our next video. So now let's talk about that. So what is the first cushion setup that I'm going to be talking about is actually a, sh a cushion setup that's not very common within basketball shoes in Adidas, which is the Adidas Cloud Foam. So basically the Adidas Cloud Foam is used on more of their lifestyle shoes, which is like, as far as I'm concerned, I think the Stan Smith has Cloud Foam and uh, some of their running shoes have Cloud Foam as well. So Cloud Foam is, I don't know, it's, well, I actually gonna try it on in store. It's not, so it's not the best kind of cushion setup for me. But I do know that they, have some budget basketball shoes that run on cloud foam. Cloud foam is actually uh, just EVA. So actually, all, all almost all uh, cushion setups, whether it's Nike Peak, Peak, <laughs> Nike Peak, Adidas, um, or whatever shoe brand you can actually think of, al almost all except for Zoom Air and some other probably bubble air use technology uses eva and it's just that it's it's injected with different different kinds of, of materials chemical compounds and whatever and it creates a different kind of cushioning setup varying on the shoe so again going back to the adidas cloud foam this is actually um adidas is most common used in again like what i mentioned very commonly used in their lifestyle shoes but at the same time, as far as I know, it's really good for dancing. So if you guys are into dancing and if you want to cop a good pair of shoes for dancing, my advice is try to get an Adidas Cloud Foam shoes. So yeah. Now, let's talk about one of the shoes that I'm actually... Uh, sorry, not shoes. One of the cushion technologies of Adidas that very much started everything. And this is actually the Adidas... Adiprene. So the Adidas Adiprene was actually one of the very first technologies that Adidas came up with. So back then in the early late 80s and early 90s when Jordan released his shoes, it had air, right? So every, until now, Nike still uses air because why, why fix anything that's not broken? So, right? So back then, Adidas released it Adiprene and Adiprene before was really huge. Kobe's first signature shoe with them which is the Kobe Crazy 8 right here actually uses Adiprene and the re-released um, Adidas Pro Model 2G which now uses Bounce actually used Adiprene before so Adiprene is a really good rubber compound that they use uh, in sole system actually that they use and it offered a lot of court feel and min very minimal cushion setup so the thing is about shoes is that if you play basketball and if you actually play here in the philippines if you've played here a lot of people here play barefoot and the thing about shoes is that it's supposed to mimic the feeling of barefootedness or bare feetness or whatever yuncha so it's supposed to mimic that yung feeling na wala kang sapatos sa sole. Ganun dapat yung pinoprovide ng sapatos with but providing you with the best comfort and the best floor feel or ground feel that you can ever have. So that goes in general with all shoes actually. That's why diba kapag naka high heels ang babae or even men who wear leather shoes kahit 1 inch heel lang or 2 inch heels yan. Ang sakit. Like in the long run like when you keep using it for like an 8 hour shift during work it hurts kasi you're not supposed to be lifted off the ground that much. You're supposed to be walking as flat as possible and feeling the ground as much as possible. That's why if you've watched other shoe reviewers, they very much put very big emphasis 
if a shoe has minimal court feel or no court feel or it has a, a, a shit ton of court feel. So for me, uh, I would tell you guys that um, Adiprene, and I've experienced this with shoes because I had, fortunately, I was able to play in the Adidas Dual Threats back then, which is this one, exactly that way, that, that colorway, the white one. And this one, the Adidas Rise Up, which, you know, I gave both of those shoes away to some friends. And both of those shoes actually had Adipree. And it felt good, especially if you played outdoors. Because the court near my place, which is just across the street, um, it's made out of very, very gruesome cement. You know, uh, number one, it's in the sapatos. So it's a shoe eater. And at the same time, it's a So it really provided me the cushion setup that I wanted and at the same time the port feel that I needed. So when I was playing in these shoes or while I was playing with Adiprene when I had these two shoes back then, um, I felt like I was playing uh, almost as if I was barefoot. Like, when I was playing laterally, I, I did a jab step laterally. I was like, I'm going to go back. Pag ganun ko sa, parang nararamdaman ng feet ko yung pag ganun ko dun sa ground. So, that's what Addy Breen offered players. So, it was really, it was such a revolutionary technology that a lot of people actually use it, uh, Addy Breen. So, there's Kobe, there's Motombo, there's, as far as I know, Tim Duncan on some of his shoes. All of Team Max shoes before used Addy, Addy Breen at the same time. And, um, it was until the introduction of Bounce, which we're gonna discuss in another video. Um, it was then with the introduction of Bounce that uh, Adiprene actually was used more on budget models instead of signature shoes. So, um, if you guys do see a pair of Adiprenes um, and you guys want to use it for playing basketball, fair warning, it does take a while to break in, but once it breaks in, it's gonna be one of the best feelings you've had for playing basketball so for this video that's it guys so pretty much cloud foam is for lifestyle and dancing and adipreen is not entirely phased out so you know but a uh, quick history about adipreen they actually moved adipreen to rockport because back then adidas was able to to buy uh, the company of rockport but then they sold it off to new balance sometime in 2015 so now rockport uses new balances um new balances technology but back then when adidas owned rockport um ginagamit na rockport is adipreen so during those times from 20 or seguro around 2010 to 2015 kasi that was the time adidas was starting to make like big changes around shoes so it you know so they started using it almost adipreen in almost all their shoes as well so yeah so if you guys do see a pair of shoes as far as i know most of ah some of diros's shoes uh in diros menace the lethality and 773 as far as i know those guys use adipreen so if you guys are looking for budget shoes ng adidas and you guys want good cushion setup but balanced with court feel i'd go with adipreen and I can really advise that that shoe, once it's broken in, set up, sir. Set up, set up. Like I can So that's it. Uh, so that's it for uh, this video. Uh, next video, we'll be talking about Adidas's bounce and, of course, the one and only Adidas Boost. Boost is life, my friends. All right. So now that we're done talking about the first two Adidas technologies, which was Adipreen and Cloud Foam. Now we are going to be talking about what you guys are excited about, the World Balance Slide Foam giveaway. So guys, the mechanics are a bit difficult. Joke lang, madali siya siyempre. So all you guys have to do is subscribe to our channel and you know, like and share uh, this video on any social media that you have. So whether it's Facebook, Instagram, share it on your story, uh, Twitter, Oh, basta whatever social media you guys have, just sh uh, share it. And then after that, uh, like us on Facebook, JDN Reviews. Follow us on Instagram, at JDN Reviews. And of course, comment down below, hashtag JDN Reviews with your sites. So, 
After that, kailan natin malalaman yung mga winners and paano nga magkakaroon ng winners. So, number one, malalaman natin yung winner via online raffle through this online raffle which is an online random comment picker. So, wala tayong bias guys. So, kahit sino pwede talagang manalo as long as you guys follow our instructions for the giveaway. Second is, the winners will be announced at the end of this particular series which is the quarantine series shoot tech so we have more uh, shoot tech infos for you guys that will be coming out so today we talked about adidas next time we're going to be talking about uh adidas again obviously because they have more technology uh technologies to be talked about um we got nike and of course you've got other brands such as world balance we got to show love to our local brand and um you got peak you got anta basically any basketball shoe that you guys would see once you go inside an athletic store so yun lang siya guys so that's our giveaway so while well, speaking about giveaways while we do have the heart to give in this channel to give you guys a chance to get world balance life homes i would like to plug again that if you guys have the heart to give as well um please check out my prof um my professor and some of my um old classmates um old classmates relief efforts for during this pandemic during this time during the quarantine which is the covid afflicted relief efforts so if you guys have the heart to give whether it's cash or in kind all you guys have to do is number one like their fb page right here their fb F -F -B, F -F -B page <laughs> right here and then after that give them a follow on instagram so you guys uh, can check it out how where to deposit what bank account you can deposit you guys can stay updated what areas in the Spinas they've uh, donated to and uh, stuff like that so and maybe stuff that they need so you guys can stay updated with that as well so again guys if you have the heart to give um, please do check them out so anyways guys that's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time this was your boy JD and have a good morning evening good night anyways guys i'll see you guys next time